right, guys. Quick video update. We had our look at that. Jericho's all happy. Look, look at the hoods on. It's on the floor. You hear that's idling a lot better now. Because we did have our tuner come down and make a house call. I didn't get a chance to film that, but because we were just in a hurry to get everything done in time. But go ahead and open the hood. And we went ahead and installed these hood shocks. Oh, look at that. Awesome. You can see it's idling really nice right now. I mean, it worked out a lot of little bugs that we had in the tune. Um, I think we might have fouled our spark plugs, so we did go ahead and replace that. And now uh, we're going to go on a test drive. All right, the tuner did put us on like a safe tune. See everything? Oh. So I think we're only, I think he only has a set for like maybe five pounds. Windows a lot better. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> See that third gear? Oh, you like that? Yeah. Is that better? What we got this for? Oh. All right. Product placement. <laughs> Look at that smile, look at that smile. Yeah. What? Hey, what are, you, what are you doing? We're putting gas We're putting gas in it? At a, car in a gas station? For the very first time of its yeah. 12, 15 year life. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> the best cast ever. This is how to properly lower a Starion. You just leave the stock suspension on, you fill it up with gas. You slowly see it coming down. <laughs> Alright, guys, it is another day, and uh, we filled up the Starion with a successful mission to the gas station. So we're full. Full on gas now. And um, also, this came in. So we're actually going to be installing these lowering springs. We decided to go with lowering springs and new struts rather than coil overs. Just, just because of time. And, you know, we, it's not really too necessary. This is going to be more or less a cruiser, a street cruiser car. So we're going to go with that and um, see how low we can get. But uh, before we do that, I wanted to show you our awesome gauge cluster. Look at that. Oh... Start it. Oh yeah, look at that. And all this is, is a Samsung Galaxy tablet. Um, our Honda has a Bluetooth capability and we just downloaded an app to use that so we don't need anything fancy. Uh, just a regular eight inch tablet. Uh, we were thinking about making uh, like a nice uh, bezel for it you know pretty much eliminating these gauges because nothing the only thing that's working on this gauges right now is our fuel level we did purchase a fuel level gauge that will be mounting here and um, our temperature gauge sort of works uh, I, I I don't know if the gauge is bad or it just uh, the sensor we're using is not compatible with the, st with the Starion's uh, gauge cluster but we don't it doesn't matter anymore because this tells us everything that we need to know. And then we can also change the way the display looks. This cool intent. Go to that style, or just traditional gauge style, which I like better. We can customize what we want to show on the screen. Um, it's awesome. Yeah, you hear a lot of rattles with it. It's not even secured. So what we're actually gonna do is uh, hurry up and install those springs real fast and then we have an appointment with the uh, alignment and uh, get this thing aligned start driving her around right yep you excited yeah what do you think of that weird is that awesome awesome uh oh it's tumbling <laughs> there you go cool you can isolate gauges rev it up oh 
That is so cool. That is so cool, huh? <laughs> so, how much was the tablet? 99. 99 bucks. And then how much was the app? Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. So, uh, about 110 bucks, and we got ourselves a, a very, very nice and capable um, digital dash without spending too much money at all. So right now we just have it kind of taped to there and uh, Jericho's gonna mess with it. So so uh, I would say about 99% of the bugs have all been worked out. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, go to the alignment, uh, straighten that out because this thing is very, very uh, squiggly on the road. We got, uh, we're towing in quite a bit and then I'm sure after we install the, the new um, springs, it's gonna get worse. So we're gonna go ahead and install those really fast and then uh, head out to the uh, alignment shop. All right, and we are back and uh, we went ahead and installed those and uh, it turned out pretty good. Um, pretty matching, pretty much what we were looking for. Right there, we went ahead and installed a two inch, the two inch spacer? Oh, one inch spacer in the front just to kind of bring it out because I think there's an inch and a half spacer on the rear. So, um, I, I like it. What do you think? Looks good? Perfect. All right. Nice, what do you guys think? Cool, so now, yeah, it did um, definitely tow in a lot. So it was cambering in like crazy too. Pretty, eh, it looks pretty even. But you can see that, yeah, that side's definitely towing in. And yeah, crazy. All right, man, you ready? Go. All right, we're leaving the house to go get an alignment. I love that. I love that gauge setup. Uh oh, <laughs> Jericho's, Jericho's rusty. Nothing. Maybe he disabled it. So we're not displaying speed right now, but um. The tuner did just put it on a basic, uh, I haven't even gotten, I don't even want to go in and mess with it, but I mean, it drives nice, right? Oh, yeah. So he probably, I know he said he disabled a bunch of uh, features that it has. Like he disabled our beat thick for one, because he just wants to put it totally safe. No beat thick. No beat thick. Yeah, we got to fix all these rattles. A lot of little rattles in this car, especially with our motor mounts. Pretty solid. And then after we're going to, Take it for its first drive through car wash. <laughs> cool. Excited? Oh, yeah. That, that thing is loud. <laughs> cool. Hey! <laughs> where are we? On the freeway! We're on the freeway! <laughs> we still haven't gotten it aligned. We're trying to find some place that'll align it right now because I guess. Everyone's afraid of the stereo. I think they're just afraid. They're scared, they're scared huh? Yeah. Oh well. So maybe we tell them we're bringing a, a Honda Accord. Maybe. Maybe a Honda Accord, because that's what's inside here. Yeah. But um, not too bad. No. I mean, uh, we're cruising it right now. Actually, we don't know. Like I said, we don't know how fast we're going, but. Fifty nine. Fifty nine. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's got his GPS on there. Yeah. Fifty nine, cruising at. 2,300 RPM. Yeah. <coughs> Not bad. So we're going to try a few local shops around here and see if um, anything's open and they're willing to align the beast. All right. Here we go. Check this guy out. Let's see what this is. What is this? Okay, he's checking the, he's checking the clearance between the tire and the fender. He can't use that excuse. <laughs> it's not that low. Hopefully it starts, huh? <laughs> I heard it. Did you hear it? Stalled it. There you go. There we go, yeah, it's moving. Don't test drive it, bro. Damn, he's gonna test drive it. <laughs> Shit's squirmy as hell. Did 
I mean, you could do it. Stalled. <laughs> Did he? No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, they got the Starion up on the alignment rack. Finally getting all straightened out. See how it's going to feel on the road. It's probably going to feel like a thousand times better, huh? Yeah. Rad. Look at that. I remember that place. Look at that. It's closed down. I haven't been over here in a long time. So. Diamond bar. Diamond bar. All right. After a successful uh, freeway drive, um, it is time. It is time for the Sterion's first car wash. <laughs> is this his first car wash? Never. So cool, dude, I love that idea. That is so cool. Please select one of the four options. Thank you. Please go forward. Oh, here we go. Let's roll the windows down. <laughs> there we go. Hope oh, oh, this thing don't leak on us. <laughs> the sunroof. Oh yeah, huh? That should be okay. Why not right now? Austeria! Oh, so far so good, no leaks! Alright, no leaks yet. <laughs> This is crazy, man. This is like unreal. Yeah. Yeah. After like all this time, and we're finally driving in it. Yeah. So cool. I just can't wait to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sell it. Take it back home. Had enough fun with this thing for tonight. So, all right. I'll see you back. And there we are. So that would be the latest update on our Starion project. So, um, it is streetable now. It feels real good. Uh, I mean, we've been we've been gone now for about good. How long? About three, four hours. Three, four hours and. It's doing great. Oh man, it's starting to rain. It's okay. I know we just washed it, but it's all right. <laughs> starting to sprinkle. That's crazy. So, but there she is. There she is. So now we just gotta focus on uh, cleaning, cleaning it up. Ooh. Gotta focus. You know, what? let me turn my light on. There we go. Oh. And there's the fan. No, only one fog light. Okay, so we just got to worry about little little things left on it. Like um, he's got new headlights for it, so instead of those uh, classic sealed beam lights, um, we have the um, refill refillable headlights. So he's got to order some uh, LEDs for that. Do you hear something? I hear fans. I hear the fans. I hear that the fans work. Wow. And then uh, small little small little mishap. See our. Our little shield, um, the spot welds uh, broke off, and um, we we were able to recover. Luckily, the the exhaust caught it, so I gotta re retack weld that. So fans working, everything's working good. I don't see any leaks, no leaks at all. Before our oh, also our coolant was was. Um, our, I'm sorry, our, our reservoir was getting filled up and that was because our radiator cap that was or that originally came with this radiator wasn't holding the pressure and so we replaced it with this rally art. <laughs> A rally art. 
radiator cap. So, but dude, it's running great. It's running so smooth. I love it. You love it? I love it. Love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was bright, huh? That was a good drive. Oh, well, you know what? Our um, fuel pressure is a little low. I forgot to check that. So, cool, man. I mean, it drives like a car. A little, little, little rough. I mean, definitely feels its age. Definitely feels its age. But, uh, I mean, what can you do? Cool, so. You know what we can do? What's that? Sell it. Yeah, that's right. Let's just sell it. <laughs> so, next on the agenda is to um, just drive it around a little bit more and uh, take it to the dyno tuner and see what it really can do. It wants to go. It wants to go. Uh, you, you feel it. I mean, it's only set at 4 PSI, but it moves. It, I mean, it on the freeway, no problems, 70, 75 miles an hour. You still, it still feels like it, it needs more. It wants more, but we can't give it to them yet. So, but anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, leave any comments you have below, or like always, let your hate flow. Um, yeah, cool. So stay tuned for the next update.